<laughs> hey everyone uh today i want to just go through some deep dives on naga siren place so i'm going to be specifically going over uh plays i do with naga sirens and maybe a turn before to set up or you know hold back resources but uh but yeah uh so i want to be going sort of in depth on that stuff so here uh, we have, we've drawn Naga Siren, and you notice we do not play the Vicious. Uh, that's very important. Um, but I played the 2-3 here because I want to be able to draw a bunch of cards with gifts. Um, so, and here I don't go face. Uh, we're up against a Boar Priest here. Um, so what we want to do against Boar Priest is make a giant board of about 15, to like about 20 attack, from, you know, with a bunch of minions, and then they can't Zarela it. And then we could do fall face for 20 and then they can Zarela and then we redevelop. But what we don't want to do is get them down to five, li like, you know, 25 life with a little bit of chip damage. And then they have an easy clear immediately and our minions get no value. So, um, so that's why we don't go face there. And they're playing their boards. Um, and now we pop off. So first we go Naga here. Then we go the other Naga. Then we go Spell. Uh, I do this one because it draws because I could get other cards to use and it's good like for example I have wildfire in my hand if I were to hit uh, commander uh, it's good to draw before wildfire there um, we also could hit um, things like crunch cloth and spell clare even though I've already drawn both spell clare so that's not as relevant as it normally is but uh, this spot I think we definitely want to draw first uh, we haven't hit a second wildfire which is really good um, I amalgam and I hit this um, I also could have chosen um looking at this play uh i could have chosen uh this three two it might have been uh actually a little bit better with this hand because i already have a school teacher um so this might have been a slight mistake uh but i do have the, the the play to get it down so we go wildfire here and then we go spell here uh the, this naga and we get this gifts and we go wildfire it's very important then this spot um, so you have to remember one mana spells kind of are like neg are like almost giving you a mana where three mana spells are costing one mana So I want to get up to the four mana play the school teacher Because the school teacher uh, Even though the first one costs two mana this it gives you something that gives you one mana So it effectively only costs one but you get two procs of it So it's much better to play than something like a crunch claw But in order to do that I need to play two one mana spells. So it's very important. I didn't play uh, This three drop three four when I played the two three this is why it would have been nice to have taken the 3-2. It would have made the, the play more reliable. Because um, sometimes I didn't hit a 2-mana spell off this 2-3. And playing the school teacher was kind of the end of the play. Which, to be honest, wasn't bad. Uh, I pick Wildfire here because it's getting more pings. It was valuable. I get this last one in. I play Wildfire. And at this point, I have the... Um, I, I, I'm thinking about what I want to do here. Um, and I have the option. I do get one Arcade Intellect in and I leave 2-mana up. You can see I do not go face here. Uh, I had the option to do first flames and ping off my own stuff to get more stuff. But there's just not really that much value to that. And by doing, if I do that again, then the problem is my first flames uh, won't be able to be used for future Naga to turn. So uh, sometimes uh, you get to a spot where you've kind of done enough and any more stuff will probably get scalable removed. Things like Brawl, things like Shield Shatter. So you can be like, well, I don't... I could, you know, pop off more with the Naga, but it's just not really necessary and it costs value. So, um, but yeah, that's a, a pretty standard Naga play. Uh, a pretty optimal situation. We have it on turn five. We get a full pop off and we have a backup. So this is definitely a very good situation. Um, Pocket Train said uh, normally uh, Board Priest is very favored. Um, so he's going to do a pop off turn himself. And so we'll watch this. So he's doing a pyro play, gaining a lot of card draw here. But this is the power of pressure where we kind of put him in a situation where he's got to do something, you know. So he has a tough decision uh, and he decides he wants to get more card draw because he's not going to have another chance. Um, so he draws six cards here. He has five in hand. And you can see he gets unlucky. He gets the ambulance dying and the game's over. So... Um, by putting on that pressure, you can see also uh, we forced he did his Zarela play. He had to heal our minions. He wasn't able to just heal his face. Uh, by doing that, putting that pressure on, 
uh, we were to force him a spot where he had to take a risk and he got unlucky. So uh, one in what is normally considered a very unfavored matchup by uh, top players. All right, this is a spot against McBanderface. The previous turn I did a Naga play, and he didn't have a really good response. He just simply shield block and uh, ruin my Naga. And I have another Naga, but I don't have Nagas to go with it. Um, so this is a spot where it's it's a pretty ideal situation to just, uh, especially against a warrior, uh, to slow play and just kind of play it chill. Um, so what I do is I, I start sort of thinking about spells to put in my commander here. Um, uh, so and I want to get pings down uh, as many turns. I draw some good stuff. Uh, I get a knight and I just ping. Um, I think often just because you can go a naga play, even though we couldn't really this turn, doesn't mean you should. Uh, this is just enough pressure that it's really annoying. Getting dealt seven damage or nine damage with the ping every turn for a warrior is ultimately going to be game losing if they don't uh, set up a win. So we get the shield shatter out, and you can see, you know, we could have committed more resources to board there, but by doing that, we would have just had more stuff get killed. Um, and here's about it. I could go Naga again uh, in, but uh, it's it's a little bit awkward here. So one. If we go Naga this, we can go Arcane, uh, but we don't have like, then we go to the two drop. It's, it's really hard to get a lot of good Nagas down here. Our hand's really, really awkward. Um, on top of that, uh, getting the Magister down starts getting the, uh, those those really upgraded pings in. Um, and often if uh, he goes something like a Nelly next turn, uh, we do have the Reckless Apprentices. So I just take another slow turn uh, that I go uh this magistar crap so like i said especially in a warrior matchup we have plenty of health he's not threatening us all we're not in a rush um and i overdraw here it's not a big deal um so we so but we've got the upgraded hero power now so we can you know ping stuff off and get it stronger and stronger let me see how much damage it does here again um it does three so it's, it's not that so that's uh you know if they play um also something as i think i'm in this game i have an interesting spot where i miss killing off my own minion which is something uh you should be thinking about and it's something i kind of realized from this game once you have the upgraded hero power especially on a naga pop off um you should be killing off your own minions to get that hero power upgrade so but here i go in we do we do siren we do another uh siren um i want to get the freeze into my commander here so i can just kind of perpetually keep them frozen um, I go spell collier, uh, and I could take hot, uh, these. I could take shattering to kill their stuff, um, and arcane. But I really think it's not that hard to kill their stuff. I have two recklesses here. Um, I have so much card draw already. I have double arcane and uh, spring water and a commander. So I believe I take hot streak here. Um, this is kind of just just because you have value doesn't mean you need value. I do an arcane intellect here, um, and we hit. Uh, I think I, so it looks like I take a commander. Um, I'm trying to remember what's in the commander here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, a bunch more card draw. You can see why I didn't need the card draw here. Take a hot streak here, and I just, uh, I want to go spell clear first, I think, because it could alter our plays. Maybe we hit a fireball. Maybe we hit a wildfire. Uh, if we hit a wildfire, for example, it'd be really good because we could, um, but yeah, I'm trying to hit a wildfire here so I could ping this 5-4 here. Um, and I don't hit it, um, but so I keep playing another Naga, play another spell. You can see I'm, I'm fishing for the wildfire and I brick. And this is where I miss, um, uh, I think I go, let's see if I go the crunch claw here. Uh, then I go, um, and I kind of mess up here and I miss up on the opportunity to ping. I get the ping in, um, and did I, I also... Um, overdraw here which was a mistake um, so one here let's look at the mistakes at the end of the turn um, I'm trying to draw a lot of cards as you can see and um, the reason I'm trying to draw a lot of cards makes sense um, it's reason number one uh, I have ignites so getting to the bottom of my deck is good two um, I have wildfire in my deck so I can get a wildfire ping on this 5-4 I can get upgraded hero power but in this spot um, one uh, I should be dumping this flurry uh, it just the flurry is not that useful. I have lots and lots of good cards to remove their minions, and I have a backup flurry. And also, I should have pinged one of my own minions. So, very likely to do a clear. 
So pinging this makes my hero power five for the next turn. Uh, the five is a really nice upgrade. So uh, I definitely wish I had pinged my own minion there. But overall, I think a, uh, a solid the executed turn. Uh, your turns aren't going to be perfect. They don't need to be. Uh, but as you just keep on cleaning up all those little things, the big mistakes here were um, not just realizing that uh, the flurry is not that important here and to ping off my own minion to get that upgraded, that hero power upgrade going even farther. Uh, overdrawing here is not that big a deal, by the way. We have the Naga, but losing the Wildfire or the School Teacher is a little bit of value that we could use. Um, and it's definitely, like I said, more important than that flurry. Uh, and I think we end up winning this game with Ignites and Pings. We have Refreshing um, and uh, Recklesses, so it looks like a pretty easy win. All right, this game I'm up against a Quest Hunter. Um, and I have Naga in my opening, a Siren in my opening hand. Um, I decided to keep the Arcane, but I'm not even sure if this is correct. Um, and I almost wonder if I should have kept Rune Orb. Um, this is something I've, I've been wondering if, uh, because it effectively be able to get two spells. And I get spell issues later. Um, I generally like Arcane to, you know, draw for the setup, but you could see why it gets a little bit awkward here. Um, and I'm wondering, you know, maybe this, this Arcane is not a keep when I have Siren on coin specifically. It would definitely be a keep going first. Um, so, uh, you know, never coining out Amalgam there, uh, always pinging here. And uh, on turn three, what gets interesting is uh, I'd like to go Arcane, but uh, if I go Arcane here, um, my hand size will go up to um, uh, will go up to nine, and then next turn, what do I do? Uh, the problem is if I try and pop up on five, let's say if I go Arcane, I don't hit spells here. Um, well, if I go Naga Siren, uh, Coin Slither, I can play one spell and then Amalgam, and then I have all these four mana, these four mana Nagas. So it's actually very difficult to pop off. So what I decide to do is just go Coin School Teacher into School Teacher. Um, this gets me two one mana Nagas. Um, uh, using the coin is, is, is a big negative, but I can also get it back from Commander. But by going coin school teacher into school teacher, um, I'm able to get one man nagas, and I'm allowed to sort of draw cards naturally without the arcane, um, and then I can reevaluate uh, in two turns. So uh, it's uh, I don't really need to full pop off. Uh, this is a clear counterspell pick. Um, while these are actually both very good options, um, the counterspell is just OP against Quest Hunter because knocking one of their spells out uh, means they often get down their their Tavish a turn later, which is very very good. So I'm removing my minion here. Um, so but yeah, I think uh, that last turn is because uh, um, yeah, remember just because so now we have a gift and the, the gift is a really nice pickup. Um, and I have option being for cold, cold, ignite and first flame. And while ignite seems in cold, cold, you know, cold, cold is good against um, uh, if they go, you know, Drek'thar. But really, what's powerful about first flame there is that it gives me a second flame, and that second flame is another spell that gives me one mana. Remember, one mana cards are basically negative one mana, and three mana cards are one mana, four mana cards are two mana. So uh, you want to be thinking of that of like, can I keep one mana stuff? So often uh, you want to be saving your first flames so you can do the big pop off turn. So uh, because I have the first flame and they do this one one. I see uh, it's able to pop off. So I didn't think I was going to be able to pop off on turn five, um, but I see uh, I can. So um, so for here I go uh, this. Um, I could go the one three. Oh, I think I go, let's say I go counter spell. Um, but I want to have the first flame. I want to maximize my chances of having a good pop off and not getting, oh, sometimes you mess up. Um, I think against this matchup, they're... You know, they don't have rush minions or they already use their weapon. So getting this vicious uh, slither spoon down to get like six attack on it for, for the, this turn isn't really relevant. So now I go, I always want to get this noggling down. So I go the counter spell here. Um, and then I think I go wildfire here next because I want to get it off on, on the commander. Um, so now this gets the commander. I have an amazing commander here. Um, uh, and you see we were able to do one, three one mana spells to get up to four mana. Um, I go wildfire here. Um, I'm saving the coin because uh, I might not need it because I have enough mana. Uh, but I like getting the wildfire upgrade through the amalgam. Um, I have a lot of options here. Honestly, all these are decent picks. But I kind of am thinking, okay, I just want to redevelop. Um, honestly, spell clear might have been better here. 
um, because I don't really have that many Nagas. Uh, but I think I actually, let's see, do I? Um, no, I, I just sort of finish up the turn. Um, so I do another draw. Uh, now this gets me, uh, Vicious, this gets me, nets me one mana. Uh, so I'm at four. Go Arcane. And you can see why I could have picked the other options as well. But I hit another Amalgam, which is a fantastic pickup. Um, uh, I take another Counterspell. Like I said, Counterspell just wrecks Quest Hunters. Um, and then I ping face. Uh, you know, just a very solid. I, I could go something like Arcane Intellect there, but I just overdraw. Uh, I like having the coin. I have everything I need to pop off next turn. If I, they were to do some crazy removal turn that their deck doesn't really have. Uh, for, I have a Spell Collier and Amalgam. Uh, I have a counter spell to weave in. Um, everything I really need here. So a really, really good position. Uh, this is very, very hard for them to win. Um, we really hit the nuts here and uh, just execute. So I think that, um, and they go Drek'dar here, not even playing uh, into the spell. Um, this is a really good situation. Um, so this is a spot where you have the Nog on board. And I remember in this spot, what I want to do is get my uh, my Magister down to gain armor, I believe, <clears throat> while, while we're moving their board um, and likely setting up a two turn. So I believe I check here. Yep, I have a spell first here. So I do a spell. Uh, you want to do at least a two mana spell. Uh, I go face here. Um, and I take the first flame because the first flame can have be mana. I have to trade off my Nagas here. I don't think I actually get amazing uh, uh, pings off, but it doesn't really matter. Um, now I do this amalgam. Like I said, this gives me another two mana. I think I take a uh, queen because uh, I just kind of want some value. It, do it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I first flame off here. And uh, let's see. What do I do? I, oh, I end up going. Okay, another naga here. And, oh, do I get the queen down? I do get the queen down. I remember this now. Um, so now I do two spells in a row because I want to get the queen. It's not that big a deal. Often this happens when you do double Naga. Uh, you actually want to do two spells because you want um, you have more mana than you could ever need, but you have limited board space. So uh, I do two spells here. Um, and I believe I take weapon. And okay, yeah, this is basically what I'm saying with this play is I'm just going to set up. Oh, I oh yeah, and then, then I pop off here. Uh, we do the first flame, first flame. This gives us more spells. Um, I actually should have done Arcane Intellect first, um, and uh, Arcane here, and uh, I think we get the lethal. Yeah, so uh, exciting turn. Um, so it was the thing I originally was going to go Magister there, but I saw that, and by having because we had that one three on board, we were able to get so much extra damage um, and get that lethal. So uh, you know, not really necessary here uh, to get that lethal there. We were crushing them. They weren't going to win that game with through the counter spell, uh, but it's uh, it's good to have those good habits. Uh, you can see here, even this this turn. Um, so I made a mistake here that could have gotten more damage. So you can see here. Um, I think I go. Do I go coin here? Um, so let's see. What was the mistake I made? So I believe, yeah, um, I could have gotten like played an arcane there and gotten more more mana here. So this goes up to, so here I even do, go, I go the weapon here. Um, I, this puts me up to six mana, so this is fine. Um, but there was, a, on this play right here, um, after I go queen, <clears throat> um, I'm at six mana. Uh, no, I, no, I play the, no, no, not here. So I go the the second, not the spite last year. Um, so, because um, once I see this, I think I uh, see I can do that. So I go the first one, but you can see here I'm wasting a mana. Um, I could have easily gone Arcane Intellect there, but I do overdraw. So I guess that's why I did it. Um, then I go Spite last year. Um, and you can see now uh, I go up to four mana here. Um, and I use the coin, which actually this one doesn't refresh here. So it's it's okay. Um, okay, I guess never mind. I, I, I did do fine play. So you can see here there's so much going on. These even I'm thinking I made mistakes, uh, but I didn't. Um, so because this one is still on minion here, but then I play the queen, like I said, um, take the weapon, play three spells, uh, get the lethal. So, uh, it looks like I thought I made a mistake, but you can see when you play two sirens like this, uh, you often are in a spot where for the first turn, one, one siren says minion and one 
it says a spell. So you have to often have the choice of which one you want to do. Um, so if you have, let's say you have limited Nagas, but a lot of spells, you might go a second spell. Let's say if you have limited sports space, uh, but, but let's say on the other hand, you have limited board space, you may want to go two spells in a row. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so I take the Exalent here. And then, like I said, we get the, we get to play the, the first flames, um, uh, kill off one of, do damage to one of our own minions, get the ping in here and get, pull off the lethal. So easy. <clears throat> All right, here's another game. Uh, we're going into our turn four with Spite Lash. Uh, we went Arcane Intellect on three, but for the most part, nothing's really happened in this game against a warrior. Uh, we go School Teacher um, here, like I said, uh, and then C4 Gateway, fan, one of the best picks you could often get. Um, we never take Siphon Mana here. We never take First Flame. C4 Gateway, one of my favorite picks because it draws you Amalgam. And not only do you draw the Amalgam, which gets you more stuff, but it gets you a discounted Amalgam. So here's a spot where um, I want to pop off uh, here, but I, I end up having to kill my own minions, which is not a big deal uh, against warrior. Often you don't have enough stuff. Um, so here we go. We hit a wildfire as well, which is nice. Um, so I think I make a little uh, technical mistake here. So we go Naga this, and I think I go for wildfire. This is actually a mistake um, because I'm going to be drawing Amalgam and I could generate a uh, Commander Silvara off the Amalgam. So you're better off going First Flame here. Um, <clears throat> and then after you go Amalgam, you can consider going Commander. So that's a little, there's all these little technical things. This deck. Oh, it looks like, do I remember it? Okay, I do remember it, okay. So you can see here, I correct my order. I almost went Wildfire. <clears throat> um, and here, uh, uh, especially against warrior, you want to take high value Nagas and treasure guard uh, doesn't cost value because you get a card. So that's really nice. Um, so and then now uh, I play the wildfires. Uh, I think I go spell clear here uh, first or to get the stuff that discovers. Um, I think I, I take refreshing. <clears throat> this was a spot I remember where I could have taken refreshing or I could have taken uh, ignite. Uh, but I think people, players with the new uh, ping builds, you really don't need uh, Ignite as much as you think. Um, you're just getting so much damage for pings. So uh, you usually, most games don't have fatigue, and you'd rather get card draw more value. Uh, the biggest thing that can hurt you against Warriors, either of them doing face damage to you with Burst. Um, and I think a lot of the Warrior builds are actually switching to uh, more Burst-heavy lists and taking out Kazakasan. But... Um, uh, but also running out of value. So uh, I now do refreshing. Uh, refreshing will give me two mana. Um, if I if I completely brick here, I can go vicious. Uh, but if I don't brick, I can go treasure guard. So we hit one uh, one spell here. So we go up to four mana. We would have gone up to two. And I think about going vicious here, but I realize I don't really need to. Um, <clears throat> so I go treasure guard here. Uh, this costs me one mana. This keeps me the same. Um, I take Oasis Ally because we haven't played any Frozen spells here. And if we play Oasis Ally uh, and then they hit with a weapon, it's really nice um, because uh, they then we get double the spell. Um, I played a spell last, so I go another Treasure Guard here. Um, I could play the Vicious here and get down the Water Elemental, uh, but I just don't really think it's necessary here because um, any more stuff we play uh, is just going to get removed. So by holding here, um, so like I said, I'm thinking about going second flame on my own minion and then going vicious and then getting a water mantle, but I, I decided it's not really necessary here. This is enough. So like I said, just because you can pop off harder doesn't mean you should. So you want to learn how to pop off harder. Um, and I think they end up ruling this board and we kind of have a more value game because we have Magister. So right now we've drawn everything we need to win. And that's what's nice about hitting the refreshing spring water, hitting these treasure guards. It gives us it gives us the card draw. We draw a commander um, and a wildfire. So you can see uh, we we're in a really good spot to win the long game. So we have tons of value. We have a, a magister. We have wildfires. Really good spot to be in. So here is a game against Demon Hunter, where I am. Uh, they get a lot of burn damage in the early turns. Um, so I go. I have Siren here, but I go Arcane trying to draw more stuff. 
Um, and then I'm in kind of an awkward position here um, <clears throat> going into turn this because um, if I go Naga coin this and this, um, if I hit, uh, if I don't hit, um, uh, my, my mindset here was if I don't hit, uh, like a, a cheap spell, it's a very short pop off. Um, and then I don't have a turn five play. So let's say I, I, I break, so we, so we could go Naga coin, uh, one drop here, this into that. Um, but if I don't hit a small spell, um, you can see most of my deck is not small spells. So, uh, we have sort of ruined orb. Um, we have wildfires, first limb and flurry. Flurry is the high roll. Uh, but I, in, in retrospect, maybe I should have gone for that out. Um, but I was also afraid if I don't, let's say I hit flurry here. Um, but I don't hit like first flame and, uh, I don't kill this three, three. Um, what's going to happen is that they might go multi-strike and clear my whole board anyways, and then I don't have a good play. So I think it's very reasonable for me to go reckless here um, and wait another turn, but it, uh, it does have a cost. So, but I, I don't go school teacher because I really want to top deck spells here, and I, I want to keep the coin. Uh, it's very important to keep the coin because the coin is basically four mana here. Uh, no, it's actually, it's actually five mana. So it's very, very valuable um, because not only does the coin give you the one mana, but it also gets you... Sorry, it's not five mana. It's three mana, because uh, it also, but it also refreshes um, your mana, and they get you another proc for your naga. So, um, <clears throat> so here, uh, the next turn, they do something that's really bad for me—a full burn play. Uh, they basically do a five mana deal ten, um, <clears throat> which is probably the worst thing. Drekthar would have been much, much more mana you here, because I could, uh, you know, get things like first flames. Uh, I could get uh, maybe like a cone of cold off my Nogglings, but I don't <clears throat> to go all face here. Um, and here I go Naga. We always go second Naga first. Um, and now I coin and put out the second Naga here. The reason I'm doing this is uh, I need, there's no reason to save the second Naga and this gives me extra spell uh, stuff um, so I can sort of play more spells. <clears throat> um, so I think I draw here um, and let's see. So yeah, I want to draw. Um, I, I could go another Naga here, but this is a spot I talked about earlier where it's better to play um, in these spots uh, more Nagas. And here's a spot where, <clears throat> in retrospect, I probably should have actually played First Flame here, um, I think. Maybe not. No, no I, I'm actually on my own minion here. Yeah, so um, I actually am supposed to play First Flame here, I think, on my 3-4 here um, to get used mana because I'm, I'm going to run out of board space um so but uh uh so i think <clears throat> i should have done that uh, but i get a spell clear here spell clear is definitely a choice because i'm trying to hit ice bear ice bear is our wing condition while popping off um so <clears throat> here's why, where it gets awkward because it's like um when i play a spell here uh i gain four mana but i only refresh two um so this is why I kind of wish I got the first flame down uh, <clears throat> and I draw two here uh, and I think let's see I go ruined orb I should go ruined orb first here um, and I should go ruined over the face um, and oh no no, no I, I don't go ruined orb because I want to get the school teacher down um, so I do this but you can see here then um, uh, so I don't hit which is very unfortunate uh, the problem with these other picks uh, even though they're nice um, is but I think I should pick in siphon mana here to actually kill off my own minions here um, Snowman just never gets there fast enough, but I have a lot of outs to be looking for here um, So I rush up with the four mana. Um, and I need to play a spell <clears throat> um, So I think I should be playing rune orb on their face here Actually, I should be rune orbing my own minion here. I mean, I think I ruined over their face I'm running out of time But yeah, I should ruin orb like my two three here to make more board space and that was a pretty big mistake um, I think I actually should be taking first flame to kill off more board space as well. Um, you see here, uh, I'm worried about board space. So I think, let's see, um, I should have gone noggling there and then been able to first flame, but I just have too much to think about here. Um, and I'm, I'm looking for those outs. Uh, and yeah, so you could see here, um, I could have gone noggling down as well. I could have drawn more cards. Uh, if I, I need to be double weaving spells in, I need to be killing off my own minions here. Um, I need to give myself the maximum amount of opportunities 
I'll, you know, I also might have been able to weave in more mana to get this Gifts of Ashara down. Um, <clears throat> and the nice thing about getting the, uh, and maybe hit uh, another Rune Dwarf, another Spell Clyre, but I really need to hit Ice Bear. Um, also drawing more cards, I could have hit a Treasure Guard. So that's another out uh, that I missed that I'm not, I, I'm realizing now. So uh, like I said, a spot where I need to be killing off my own minions and I need to be drawing cards and I, I just messed up. Uh, it was a very hard turn. So you can see here, I, I kill stuff off, um, but I, I screwed it up. So unfortunate, it was just too many things and I go all face and this was the wrong play. Uh, the damage to their face is not really relevant here. I need to maximize my chance of survival. Taking eight damage is just too darn likely here. <clears throat> and sure enough, uh, they have lethal. So let's see. Yep, they have multi strike and bam. And a chaos strike. Yeah, way over lethal here. So um, <clears throat> uh, this is the reality is uh, um, these Naga, not only you have the massive complexity uh, of these Naga turns, but maximizing the outs. And the out was Ice Bear. I could have, and the other out was uh, Treasure Guard. Um, I could have drawn more cards. I could have gone down second school teacher, which gave us another out for ice bear. So with proper order, um, killing off my own minions and not going face, uh, I could have inc highly increased the chances of us not dying there. So, uh, always room for improvement. Uh, you can see I'm rank five legend here, but just cause you're rank five, uh, doesn't mean you're number one. And if you're not number one, you probably still have room to improve. So, <clears throat> uh, uh, it's it's actually really nice me just looking at this now of just seeing the mistakes and what I needed to go for because uh, reality when you're playing this deck um, you really need to have things at the level of this is a Jared Tedler turn unconscious competence what that means is you really need the things just know it in your blood because you don't have time to think uh, you don't have time to calculate you have to know this is the right order this is the right this uh, so your brain can move very fast, but it's good to go and see where your mistakes were and you can see I need to kill off my own minions Try to get the double school teacher try to draw treasure guard Those are the two outs treasure guard and ice bear and I did not maximize my chance for either of those so uh, very interesting uh, Turn that I just didn't quite pop off correctly. So Anyways, hope you guys like this deep dive playbook uh, Where I'm kind of showing you all the the different orders uh, I might do another one of these for Naga Mage. There's just so much complexity to this deck um uh but yeah i think it's a, a lot of fun so if you like this if you have another deck where you think um i don't think there's any deck as sort of technically speed the sort of sort of speed comp pop off turns as complex except board priest and i haven't really put the time into getting that full level of mastery on board priest but uh, i am pretty at a very high level naga mage so i might make it just another one of these uh but yeah Hope you guys like this. Here's the list. Uh, I got the list code in the comments that I was using in this video. Uh, enjoy.